converting a video to be played on your phone or on a DVD player or anything really isn't as hard as you might think. Just go to handbrake.com, um, yeah, the link's down in the description, and then click on download. Next, you're going to select your version. If you're running Windows, I recommend that you just do the 32 bit version. If you're on a Mac, download the Mac one. Next, just install it and then uh, open it up. And then you'll be presented with this. So what you want to do is you're going to want to go to source, you're going to choose your video file or choose your disc if you have a disc in your uh, DVD tray. Note that most new discs now have uh, real good copy protection that even won't allow this to get through it. It used to be able to and only do this for legal purposes. Legal purposes um, you can't make more than one copy of a disc. You can make a backup copy and that's about it. So we're going to do a video file as a demonstration. So I'm going to go up to my videos and choose one of my own videos so I don't get in trouble. And I'm going to choose something that's AVI. Uh, we'll try this one. And then just click OK. Now notice it's... Um, I should have to choose another one. Sorry about that. It's not really working for me. A fireworks display, this will be good. And so it's going to run for two minutes. And here, the presets, we can choose if it's going to be universal, so it'll work on every Apple device. Or we're just going to choose our, our say, an iPhone 4. And then we're going to go over here and click destination. We're going to browse to somewhere to put it. And I'll put it in my backup. And we're going to title it Fireworks Display Converted. Now notice here where it says the file type, um, it may change varying on what uh, format you change it to. And then next we're going to just hit start. Now I have a good computer so it shouldn't take long but if it's a disk it will usually take about eh, 15 minutes to half an hour for a regular computer to do it. Um, this is on my hard drive itself so it's not that slow and this is going to take about a minute to complete so I will just pause the video and come back to you so now just before this finishes I'd like to say um, <laughs> excuse me for that little interruption um, like I was saying uh, when once it's finished handbrake will just automatically close so you really won't have any indication of whether it's completed or not if it has errors it'll come up and assure you that it's had an error and you need to do it again. So back to where we put the file which was in my backup and here we have fireworks display converted. Now say if we want to put in, if we wanted to put this into iTunes um, normally it'll want to play with uh, Windows Media Player and you just say open with and then iTunes. Next that'll import it into iTunes once my iTunes decides to load. Um. Uh, so it usually puts it into movies and then here, fireworks display. Double click on it. And move forward a bit. And it's Singapore last year. All my footage, um, nothing's copyrighted. Um, so yeah, and then after that I can just sync my iPad up or my phone up and voila! Converted file. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe, like and comment, and see you later.